Okay, welcome to the video. Sig Sauer Guy here, and in this video we're going to be installing the Romeo One RDS Red Dot Sight. Um, as you can see mine here, I have the shroud for it. You can do this with or without the shroud. Um, I've seen a couple posts this last week. Um, people are showing off their Romeo Ones nicely broken in and worn. Uh, so if you don't like that look or you want a little bit of extra protection on it, um, the shroud does a nice job. Um, so we're going to be installing that on the P320 X5 Legion here. On the Legion, it comes with the rear adjustable sight that's made part of the plate. So we're going to remove this whole plate, and then we're going to install the Romeo 1. So with that, let's get started. Okay, a couple tools that I'm going to use to complete this job. A pair of needle nose pliers, obviously the optic itself, and I'm going to be using the shroud on mine. When you purchase the shroud, it comes with new screws, longer screws. Make sure you use these if you're using the shroud. If you use the regular screws, they're not long enough. You're going to strip out your slide when you crank these down in the end. Uh, I use a plastic punch to remove remove my rear slide plate. And then we got a 332nd Allen wrench to remove our uh, rear adjustable sight from the X5. An eighth inch Allen wrench to install the Romeo 1. And then I'm also going to use, very handy to have, is an inch pound torque wrench. This is like a screwdriver torque wrench um, with an eighth inch um, bit on the end. So the problem with the Romeo 1 in the beginning was the red dot was going away because the battery cover wasn't being tightened up tight enough. It comes with a little plastic tool to do it um, and it's just not really beefy enough to crank that down like you're supposed to. So ever since I got this um, inch pound torque wrench and I've torqued that to spec, I've never had a problem. And then we're going to use it to tighten it down to the slide um, in the end. And then we're going to use blue Loctite to put on the screws so they stay put. Okay, first things first, we're going to make sure we are clear, so no magazine, lock our slide to the rear physically and visually check our chamber, make sure there's no round in there. We're going to rotate our takedown lever, release our slide, we'll put this aside, we'll remove our guide rod and recoil spring assembly, our barrel. And then to remove our sight plate here, there are two screws underneath, one of them you can see right here in this hole. And then the other one you cannot see because it is onto the extractor assembly. So we are going to need to remove this rear plate. That's where this punch comes in. Push down on that rear extractor spring guide. Slide our plate down. Pull that off. And then we will remove our striker assembly. Being very careful because there's little springs and stuff on here you don't want to fall out. We'll set that aside. And then we'll move our extractor assembly. And then the extractor itself is probably going to fall out. So we'll take that out as well. And then now we can see down in this hole the screw that's in there. So we're going to remove these two screws. We use our 332nd Allen wrench. screws and then this does this is a giant dovetail but the way this site is made it lifts up from the rear and comes out like that it's got a notch in the front that goes in to this groove so when you put it back together notch into the groove set it down put your screws on so there you have it that's how it's removed next step we will install the Romeo one Okay, so we can take a second and clean up whatever's been living under here for who knows how long. Um, and you can actually put a little light coat of oil on there if you want. Uh, I'm going to remove the red dot sight after this video. I prefer the iron sight, so I'm not going to use any Loctite on my screws or put any oil. You don't have to put any oil in here, but I'm sure it doesn't hurt. Okay, so first step, this is like a giant dovetail, like I said. So this is going to slide into the side, just like that. And then we'll get the holes lined up. And drop our screws in there and then we'll get them started with our eighth inch allen wrench just like that and then our this is a wheeler torque wrench um, for anybody that's interested in buying one of these uh, we're going to set this to 25 to 28 inch pounds and then we're going to 
tighten these up. You'll hear a click, just like that. Next one. There you go. 25 to 28. The spec for the battery cover is 5 to 10 inch pounds. Um, when I first got mine, I took the original battery out. I don't know how long it's been in there. These, um, they do turn on automatically if they're left on. So I don't know if, I didn't want to trust an old battery. I don't know how long it's been in there. So I put a brand new battery in there. Um, torque it down 5 to 10 inch pounds. Never had a problem since I got that torque wrench, like I said. So that's pretty much it. Site is installed. Uh, what we'll do next is we'll install our extractor. This only goes in one way. It's going to go in just like that. The hook around the front. And then our extractor spring assembly. You can see there's a little notch. That notch needs to face out. Face out so it captures that extractor just like that. When you slide that in there, you can actually see it right there going up against the extractor, capturing it. So we're going to slide our striker assembly down into here. And then we're going to push that down a little bit, get our back plate started. And then we're going to push in on our rear extractor spring guide. Push the plate up, release the guide, locking it in. There you go, you don't have to do anything else under here. We're basically going to install our barrel, guide rod and spring. Put that onto our slide. And that's it. So I did see you guys on Facebook trying to Cite this in prior to going to the range. Um, you're wasting your time pretty much. Um, even if you use a bore sight and you try to line up the dots on the wall or whatever, um, you're wasting your time. I've tried it. It was way off. It wasn't even on paper. Um, so it's basically you just got to go to the range. Sandbags, duffel bag, whatever you got. Stick your, your rig up on there. Um, do some three-shot groups and keep adjusting your dot until you get it zeroed the way you want it. So... There you go. It's pretty easy. Thank you for watching. Um, if you enjoy these videos, make sure you subscribe to Six Hour Guy. That's where I post all my videos and I have a YouTube channel as well. As always, thank you for watching and have a good day.